you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Hey guys, welcome to Earth Day and welcome to episode 2 of 0 to 100k. And you can see, guys, from my last episode about the Mario Gear, did sell on. I think I picked it up for 1.4k. Did sell on for 2.1 there, so that's pretty nice. So we're going to start off here once again, guys, with that same sniping method that we were doing last episode. Just going to double check that the prices are still pretty decent, which are sadly not. Wow, we're going to have to swap methods. Um, yeah, they seem to have uh, wrecked this method. I don't know what's happened here, but yeah, we're going to have to leave that method now and go on to some different ones. First of all, we're going to start off here with the good old shadow method and just check the prices of players again. Just like checking all these things first of all. And uh, yeah, 1 4, so there we go. So we go to 1 4 here, just double check everything. Nothing really up there. Then to the hunter, of course. We're going to go snipe some of these, I think, at the start of this episode today, guys. So the cheapest hunter card is 1 8. I mean, 1 9 will be quite a lot up, I imagine. Yep, I'm not wrong. So, yeah, there's quite a few cards here at 1.9. So, we are going to go and snipe here at 1.6, I believe. Let's just double check a few things. Better not offering a hunter there. Might not be just a bad deal, to be fair, but I'm going to leave it. And we're going to go to 1.6k here and try and pick up a deal. We can sell it on for 1.8 at least. Hopefully, it's a decent player, so we can sell it on for a bit more. Who knows? But, yeah, that's what we're going to start off with today. So, yeah, 1.6, guys. Thanks so much for the support on the first episode. I'm really happy with how well it went, and I'm glad you're going to enjoy this series. We're going to try and make this last quite a while as well, obviously, like, I'm going to trade pretty, like, any 10 minutes every day, really, on this series, just so we can have a bit of fun with it, and it's something that you can help, like, you guys can build up the coins with as well, which is always handy, so we'll start off doing this for a minute or so, see what happens, if nothing comes up, then we'll move on and see if we can get some buy now deals on something else, but, yeah, it's always so difficult to start, that's the problem, like, obviously, with these methods, because you can only actually buy one card, and then you have to wait for it to sell, like, it's just no in between really until you get to like 10k and you pick up maybe three or four players at a time whereas right now it's just literally one card wait for it to sell buy another one wait for it to sell so that's pretty annoying but yeah hopefully it won't be too bad we can just make some sick like sick quick profits but we'll see here and um, we've been backed out here already and the servers have broken um there we go. We've just been on the account for about a minute and they've already broke, which is pretty annoying. But yeah, we won't snipe for now, then we'll go and do some other methods like this and just double check them again. We saw this one work so well last episode here. I mean, this guy is probably a deal, but I don't want to pick him up because it'll take a while to sell and then we'll just be sat here for like three years. So never mind. So we'll go 1.3k and we'll go to like the 59th minute because Logan has a default right forward it ruins it really we can still get to the 59th minute we just can't snipe them here and uh, seems to be nothing up there unfortunately no nothing on this method so we're going to go to left wing and hunter now and just double check it at 2 well we can't really afford these anyway so if it's one of a like 2k we'll definitely pick it up so uh, yeah sadly not there Pedro Leon's not be a right mid I believe it's a really good deal actually that one that's so annoying that I can't pick that one up but yeah never mind we'll go to silver BPL now and 350 and just double check we'll take out Hunter as well so the players actually come up uh, there we go and then we're going to go search here now skip down to the 59th minute see if there's any rare players but sadly not any good deals here like Alexander Arnold or whatever no um, sadly no deals there so now we're going to go to bronze and go 200 see if we can get ourselves anything here on the market and just double check it and hopefully we can find something on this method um, let's have a look here uh, 32 minutes so we're nearly at the 59th minute now three more pages probably uh, this page here yeah so let's have a look uh, this guy wait a minute that's a deal Ah, oh, damn <laughs> that's a great deal there I don't know why he's so expensive he sells for like 1k We'll add that to the transfer target at the end of the video anyway, just in case no one bids on that. That's a great deal. Can't believe that there. That's so annoying. Um, but yeah, you see there the potential deals that you can get. I mean, just going to double check a few more of these now. It's excited me. Just maybe just the off nations. Or maybe this guy. No, maybe not then. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. I don't know why it's so expensive. But yeah, we'll just go back in and check again once more just to make sure nothing else has been listed. Just on that a little off chance that something might have been. But yeah, we're going to skip to it now. Uh, hopefully two more pages and we should be there. There we go. So 59, 59, 30. Is this guy going to sell for anything? 400, 350. Nothing special really there. And wood here, once again, nothing really special. But uh, no, uh, nothing there. 
and we'll just check this centre back actually as well because he's Irish. But no, I don't know why that striker was worth so much. That's beyond me. I have no idea as to why that was. But yeah, never mind. We're going to go and find ourselves some deals now anyway using the right forward, me uh, right wing method. So there should be a deal in here pretty quickly hopefully uh, with it. Like a non right wing but I need to put golden as well. What am I doing? Uh, nothing there. And what about left wing back? Is he default? I think he might be a default left wing back, unfortunately. Yeah, it seems like he may be, um, which is pretty annoying. So that means there's no default right wing back. So right now we can go in here. Uh, apart from those two guys, I believe the rest aren't. So that means if we go 900 here, hopefully the cheapest one is going to be something else in here now. Hopefully that's normally a right back. Let's just skip to the 59th minute. And once again, there's not. The market's a bit dead today. Is this guy normally... Why is it so... I'm so confused. So he's normally a right back. Right, okay, never mind about that then. We'll move on from that anyway. And we're going to do a championship method real quick at 200 because I know we can get some deals on this. And uh, we need to put silver in, obviously. Uh, and hopefully try and get some deals. This is probably like, the last hope right now. He is pretty dead, but... Um, yeah, hopefully we can get some deals in this episode. So it's a bit boring, but at least it's informative. You know what to look for, at least. That's at least what I'm doing. That's what I mean when it's live. It's going to be quite difficult to pick up deals always. Like, there's no easy way of doing it at the start. Um, but yeah, going to keep doing it. We might go and do the bronze pack method, actually, after this. I'm feeling the bronze pack method, to be honest. If we don't get any deals, we'll do that at the end of the video and hope for some decent cards. But uh, yeah, we might go and do that now, actually. Just give it a couple of minutes and hopefully... We're going to go snipe actually because I believe sniping is definitely the best method. And uh, yeah, at 1 5, was it 1 5? I think it was. Here we go now. We'll double check that. Yeah, 1 5. This guy, I don't know who's converted. He's normally a, wait, yeah, normally a left forward. Why is he so expensive? Okay. And Condi there. There we go, guys. Finally got a deal. 1k for here. We can sell him on for 1.5. It's a really nice deal there. Uh, 1 5. So if we snipe here at 1.1. Can hope to pick up some nice deals here. See if we can get anything else anyway. We'll give it another minute of this. We can afford we can't actually afford one more, can we? So we'll go and list this card up. I've now clicked Arsenal. <laughs> I hate when that happens, it automatically goes to the bottom look like again now it's done it again. It's so frustrating. But yeah, we can sell it on for one five. It should sell on pretty fast and can do it there. So yeah, nice little five hundred coin profit in this video at least. So that's what we were aiming for. Just like I'm gonna get up to three K really, that was a target, but uh hopefully we can get something else to end off this video. At 1-4 there is not what we're after. Cordoba over there. Cordoba. I don't know who converted that guy. Who put him as a left forward with 69 base? I have no idea. That's still what person would want to do that. But yeah, fair enough. El Girard there is probably sold on. He hasn't. Hopefully in Condi will sell on pretty soon. So we can buy some of the... I'd like to have bought El Girard there. But never mind. I have to wait for that one obviously now. And see if it will sell on. Still listed as well. It's pretty frustrating actually. Finally sold on now anyway for 1.2k, which is a pretty good bargain. I sold on for 1.5 and another 300 coin profit. But yeah, this is a really nice method, guys, because, I mean, they do come up quite a lot. They're not easily like, coming up, you know what I mean? They're regular players to be listed, but, I mean, there's not so many people doing this. And it's like, say, the hunter method, for example, where there's, like, a million people doing it. But yeah, never mind. Um, hope we can just pick up something here. If not, we're going to go and snipe Aston Villa players right now. Because this one does work uh, pretty nicely. Let's have a little look at what's happening on the Silver Villa players right now. Here, uh, yeah, they're still quite expensive at 1.5 actually. So if we snipe at 1k and hope for something mad to happen, someone lifts up a Villa player for a k, we're going to be in for a very nice profit. But yeah, that's going to end up the video really, guys. It's been pretty dead this episode, but... Yeah, but if not, we're going to maybe gonna open up a couple of bronze packs and do the bronze pack method because that is a really overpowered method. And if you can get that one going, that's a pretty nice uh, little method to have going in the background as well while we do this. But yeah, um, hopefully a Villa player will get listed for a K. Don't know how much the bronze is going for out of interest. Let's have a look. Uh, 900 there mm. for the bronze guy. Is he cheap? Wait a second. He's a cheap. Oh, this is a deal. Yeah, no silvers. And yeah, we're going to listen up here for 1-2. There we go. And and Kondu just sold as well. So, yeah, I don't know why he hasn't been bought. But we'll buy that anyway. List it up for 6 hours. Just to make sure it definitely sells. Because we are coming to the end of the episode now anyway. So, yeah. But uh, a nice little deal there anyway regardless. That was a 
put a little profit anyway. It should sell on. And Condu sold as well, which is nice. Check, check 1 5 again here. Delafeu, not really a deal. Um, but someone's been at 1 5 on a left mid one there. Is that a deal? Be intrigued to check that. I know I can't afford it, but I will be pretty intrigued to check if that was a deal. That might be the El Shirawi that somebody did actually go on to buy. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, okay, quickly check a few converter players, guys, real quick that I know have deals up sometimes. So, for example, Lanzini is definitely one of them here. So we'll double check him in a centre mid. Um, hopefully, with some deals up here on him. One five, one four. I mean, all these are deals, really. <laughs> like it's normally two k to convert him. So, yeah, it's crazy just how many deals are actually up. But obviously, we can't buy any of them. But I mean. Still, regardless, how many are up is pretty mad. So we're going to go and check here now. Um, Barkley, of course, here. This guy goes for quite cheap as well. So just hoping for that, like, 1-5, but sadly not. We'll check Rooney as well, actually. Wayne Rooney. 2.2, 2K. Uh, have we got anything here? No, sadly not. We'll go and check some cams now. So we'll check the likes of, like, Vieto players like that. And then Musa and whatever. But, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's a cheeky little deal waiting for you on these. I mean, and they are pretty good profit. Um, so, no deal there. What about Belhanda? This guy occasionally has a centre mid one. Giuliano is another one that you can always check. Like, you might as well want to keep a note of these players because there are some pretty nice deals on some of these at times. I mean, nothing there, unfortunately, and nothing there. So, we're going to go and check Musa now, real quick. He's another one that you can sometimes get one with uh, Musa. In a cam or centre mid, so cam Musa uh, three nine three five. I mean, there's a bid there. I might just bid on that one if it comes to worst case and see if we win it, because uh, it's a really nice deal regardless. So centre mid now, of course, here Musa four two three five, and loads of been price fixed up there, which is pretty annoying to be honest. Um, a lot of price fixes. Uh, seven two three eight. I wouldn't advise buying either of those. Want them for like two k or less if you. Doing this, but this is enough for the future, guys. When we get a few more coins in the bank, I was hoping to see that bargain, but sadly, it didn't look like as if there's going to be a bargain around anywhere to pick up. But yeah, we'll just check two more players. So we'll check Torres first of all here, and then two more. So now we're going to go and check ourselves. Um, what's his name? Where's he gone? Valero, that's the guy. Roger Vallejo, um, CDM. See if any deals up. 7 5 is not a deal. What about in centre mid here? I mean, it'd take a miracle to get one of these for this cheap, but you never know what might happen here. We'll just check this as well. Check if there's any deal. I mean, 50 minutes away in the catalyst just isn't going to happen, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, pretty much now we need to go and check cam, and we're going to go and check through these cam styles right now real quick just to end off the video. It's literally how we're going to do it right now. Let's see if there's any strikers converted into cam pretty much. I mean, that Johansson right there, I think maybe one, and that will be the end of the episode if it is because that is a great deal right there um, yeah it is we're gonna go and lift this up guys for 1.2k I believe yeah 1.2k that's a great deal there on Johansson I mean he's normally a striker someone's converted him and lifted him up for a bargain so there we go guys hope that was worth the wait thanks so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed please do drop a like let me know down below we should be over the 3k mark now guys on everything sells I think so yeah we've got 2.5 there so yeah 3.6k on everything sells thanks so much for watching this episode guys when we get into episode 5 or 6 it will get more entertaining sorry right now but it is difficult to make a lot of profit and whatever but yeah you're gonna go bid 900 on this in the one percent chance of winning it but yeah thanks so much and i'll see you all next